Hello, and welcome to Archvelder's Hacks with Archvelder and his amazing hacks. This video is all about the item Momentum Redistributor Boots. As you can see, this item is stupidly overpowered and can one-shot max level players in a 10-yard radius. These items are accessible to anyone with Shadowlands Level 1 Engineering. Since Shadowlands leveling is only accessible at character level 50, this means that effectively it can only be used by level 50s and above. The item is selling at a surprisingly low price on the auction house at the moment. I picked up 5 for 1000 gold each, so it is not necessary to make it. You just need to get level 1 engineering from the profession trainer here in Oribus. Now, I've shown you what the boots can do, but I should explain exactly how they work. Essentially, the full damage you would normally suffer is channeled into a small area around which hostile players and mobs are damaged. Each player hit takes the same amount of damage. Ideally, you want to drop from slightly above the height that would normally kill your character. It doesn't have to be exact, you can approximate. The boots do a lot of damage, so there's considerable room for error. That said, don't go too high. There is a point at which the full damage kills you instantly, regardless of the boots. The damage from the boots can crit, though that often isn't a factor, since you will be one-shotting mobs and players anyway. The boots can be activated at any point during your fall doesn't matter if it is 10 seconds or 1 second before you hit the ground. The more hit points you have, the more potential damage you can do. So you may wish to stack up on stamina before trying this, especially if you are undergeared. Look closely at what I'm doing with the setup here. If you try and use your judgement, it is really difficult to determine exactly where you will land. And if you miss, you just die. It's all very Roadrunner and Wily e. Coyote. So to get around this, fly down to your target and then just press spacebar to attain height. So you are only moving in the Z axis. This way, unless your target or targets move, you will always hit them. You can use this item with a Goblin Glider. The following brilliant macro was developed by Ninja Knight 92 and posted over at Wowhead. I'll link to that below. The damage the Momentum Redistributor Boots does is Arcane. So you'd think Arcane damage modifiers would help with that. But when I experimented with jumping off the roof on the Goldshire Inn onto some chickens who nobly gave their lives for Warcraft science, it didn't seem to make any actual difference. Now, this item is stupidly overpowered in World PvP and is likely to get nerfed very soon. In Battlegrounds, the item is more balanced. It can be very effective in specific situations like the ones I'm showing. See the cat taking 60% of its health in damage here. I'm sure you can see the potential for one-shot macros. Battlegrounds are mostly designed to prevent players attaining significant height, which normally has to be done via some kind of glitch. The one major exception is Ashran, where druids can gain flight form using a class-specific item that can be looted there. Druids can have a lot of fun with the momentum redirection boots. In Wintergrass, 
it is possible to gain very significant height by going to the edge of the map, which temporarily allows you to fly before you get ported to the nearest graveyard. You can then use Slowfall or a Goblin Glider and attack from the air, or set up a later opportunity by jumping onto a building. You'd think it would be impossible to use the boots in the Seething Shore battleground, since full damage doesn't exist here, but you can actually use a Cancel Aura macro to remove the no fall damage buff and the parachute you subsequently received after that's cancelled, as I'm demonstrating here. It is, however, very difficult to target players in this battleground. Probably the biggest potential here is for Demon Hunters, with their Rain From Above ability. There's a secret method for Demon Hunters to cancel the Rain From Above ability and gain theoretically infinite height. You are not likely to get banned for using this item, because you are literally using it exactly as intended. I'm fairly certain Blizzard just messed up here. There's no possible way they could justify any kind of countermeasure against anyone using it. I am, however, pretty certain that they are going to nerf this item, assuming they reduce the quantity of damage. Bear in mind there's going to be a dozen ways to keep the damage at one-shot level using slightly more complex tricks. I'm particularly interested, for example, in the synergy between Light Forge to Drenai Racials and this item. So if you're watching this post-nerf, bear in mind there's probably something interesting you can do with this, still, unless they've junked the item altogether. If you enjoy this sort of trick, then you may wish to sign up to my Patreon, where stuff too hot for YouTube gets posted on a regular basis. There's been a lot of exciting glitches already in Shadowlands, one-shot items, XP grinding shortcuts, and a bunch of other stuff. Some of it's been fixed, some of it hasn't. Unfortunately, stuff can get fixed very quickly at this stage of an expansion, so sign up to avoid missing out and get the information as soon as I discover it. If you can't afford the Patreon, I get it, times are tough. But there's going to be some great content on this YouTube channel really soon, so I would subscribe here if that's the case. I may even finish that gold making video I've been threatening before the end of the century. Thanks for watching, this has been Archvelder. If it isn't Azeroth's mightiest champions. Congratulations. You've managed to track me to the most unlikely of places. My very own home. Seeking retribution for all the bad, bad things I've done, I suppose. How frightfully predictable. I have been waiting a long time. Let's get on with it, shall we?